Hey there friends and welcome back to my Paris Spera Sandbox gameplay. I'm Icon and today I hope we're gonna reach the next terraforming goal and I have no clue what's gonna be uh, ahead of us after that but I do know that I want to expand today a little bit uh, further towards water deposits because uh, we are really really low on that. And so next things will be expanding towards uh, the water deposits here and uh, we're gonna continue our endeavors. Oh my god, there's a huge meteor coming in. So guess who's gonna suffer again? All right, so I'll just try to install more and more of these fission plants here because they just, uh, well, they feel like a very, very powerful addition to my uh, to my um, base here. So let's see what we need to rebuild after that. At least I now have two two uh, mines for uranium, but I think uh, we're gonna need more than that. So uh, okay, seems like ah oh, here we lost one worker hub. I really feel like the game could give you some uh, pop up notification or something like that when your uh, when your buildings get smacked like that. I think uh, that would be really really helpful. <laughs> Okay, I'm uh, I'm stockpiling those uranium mines as much as I can because uh, I feel like that's such an important good now because those fission plants are awesome. I thought fission plants would need uh, uranium to run, but no, you just uh, put uranium in there once and then they just uh, thrive off of that. Isn't it awesome? I love that. So. The downside to that, though, is uh, it takes quite a, quite a while, so we gotta wait. We sadly gotta wait a bit. Meanwhile, let's check out the mines. So I got one chemical plant. I really would love to have more than that. One carbon mine being not too efficiently used. Let's change that. Let's check out the workload on that worker. Okay, there's... Uh, Interesting. That shouldn't be looking like that in my opinion, but little do I know. Overall, um, I feel like I don't have enough uranium production as of now, so that's why for me those uh, mines are really, really important. Oh, that mine didn't uh, didn't uh, build here. Okay, there we go. Since one unit of uranium takes a literally uh, um, we can only mine four units of uranium per year per mine. With three for, with three mines, I can now build one fission uh, reactor per year. I feel like that's a little bit of a uh, low count, don't you agree? All right. So I have also a very low population because uh, right now, <laughs> quite obviously, with that low amount of water, it's going to be quite hard to uh, sustain all those people on this. Uh, on this planet here, so I'm even considering shutting down the few uh, the food um, factories. But yeah, well, I just want to reactivate the uh, greenhouse gas factories. You know, let's reactivate one. Let's just reactivate one because I need to uh, finish my my projects at some point too. All right. So I finally got 10 units of uranium, huzzah. That means we're finally able again to uh, to build a new fission reactor here. Okay. I'm gonna prioritize this one over that one, simply because uh, that um, chemical deposit there is so important for, uh, for the whole um, Further progress, so I want to have that. No maintenance, so let's check out. Um, do I really need a new maintenance facility here? Yeah, I do. I vaguely remember I wanted to do something here. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna set up a new worker hub here. Worker hubs are awesome to expand your range of uh, of access on the map. Always feel like that's in that's an awesome way to uh, pump up your your reach. There we go. And 
now I'll just drop down the maintenance facility here. So I'm at least able to... Uh... No, I can't do... Oh, okay, it goes here. So I want to be able to um, maintain, to have maintenance on that iron ore deposit here because uh, I have that slight feeling I might be needing that soon as well. I don't know why, but I do. All right, so I'm starting to uh, prioritize the greenhouse gas factories here a little bit more. And uh, meanwhile, we have to wait for more uranium. But seriously, that's going to be so good at the end of this. I think I'm going to put up a uh, storage center here. And I'm going to try and configure it uh, to store all the uranium. My thought behind that is uh, quite simple. I want to avoid that the... Uh, pre-produced uranium will clutter the rest of my um, of my base there we go all right I can't wait for the uh, methane asteroid like pulling an asteroid onto this planet now that sounds uh, that sounds like something so here we go i want to have all the uranium in here it's that okay there we go now i just have to wait until the next fission plant is uh done but at least i have now access to a new chemical deposit that really soothes my mind a bit because um Mineral deposits uh, go empty rather quickly. More quickly than uh, I'm happy with it. Alrighty. I'm already considering to um, setting up another aluminum mine just because. Let's do that. Don't want to. Don't want to be sad uh, about the fact that I uh, forgot them sometime somewhere later down the road. So uh, the power grid definitely doesn't reach this iron deposit there. So uh, let's see. So that would pump up the, po uh, the power grid. Let's do that. Um, because uh, in the end, this fission plant here will be flooded. Okay. Oh yeah, we got that one done. Awesome. Uh, sadly, that's uh, again a tad bit out of my range. So, uh, oh gosh, this uh, time here, I'll or, say, do batteries expand that? No, sadly not. This, this time, I'm just going to build up a uh, another solar farm, because uh, the solar farm is your, your cheap ally in, the, uh, in, in this crime. And I feel like I need a, I need a partner in crime here. There we go. Upgrading some roads to make sure that uh, the... Um, logistics are seeing no problems. All right, I'm gonna drop the prioritization of the greenhouse gas factories because I'm just hoping that they will do their job on their own. I'm not sure if that's gonna work out, but I'll try. Okay then, so uh, no maintenance, they say, but uh, that's because Maintenance. No. Oh no. That worker hub is uh, exactly out of maintenance range. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. That's gonna be exactly in range for all of these mines. Lucky me. Okay. Now, let's see. So we already uh, have raised the uh, temperature by almost 30%. Nice. I'm doing something for this planet, you know. Let's see. Yeah, they're just uh, storing pretty much everything here. That's uh, not exactly my plan, but that doesn't matter. Because as far as I'm concerned, I don't see any maximum uh, capacity for for these things. So let's just, uh, or no, if I put up the minimum amount, 
that saves up a certain amount forever. I don't want that either. It's really hard to configure these bad boys in a way that uh, I'm happy with it. But I think it's always better to have a few storage centers where your resources can be uh, dropped off, like uh, compared to not having them, because otherwise your facilities stop producing, even though they could uh, produce. Oh, we got the methane asteroid tech. So, uh, space mirror array. Let's research that too. Okay. Let's check this out. Um, that will bring more um, greenhouse gases, so we're gonna do it. Uh, where's dude? Where's my base again? <laughs> Look at that. That far reach. Okay, so. Uh, I'm absolutely uh, curious if there's some visible thing happening when we do this. I hope, but uh, I don't know. So first step, we're gathering resources. Now we're building the rocket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Colonist migration. Ah, here. Greenhouse gas import. Error break methane asteroid. I see. So that's the that's the asteroid. I see. Alrighty then. Yeah, for now I feel I feel like uh, ooh, uh iron's running low. What up with my iron mines? They're just working fine, but uh the aluminum mine though. Oh, it's just halted because nobody's outputting that stuff here. All right, I'm relieved. So, uh, what happened to my workers? They're just busy being built. All right, good. So, with your worker hubs, I wish I could just uh, see they're uh, about to collapse. I see. So they uh, they collapse after being uh, used up, might say. All right. Launch rocket to intercept asteroid. Cool. Just uh, afraid that uh, there's not really anything uh, we're we're able to see here. So we did that step and error break asteroid into atmosphere. Oh man. Yeah, it's sadly not moving towards the planet during the uh, completion phase. So I guess we'll only see a massive increase of greenhouse, greenhouse gases when that uh, happens. But I gotta say, the idea itself is pretty smart to just uh, toss some. Uh, some meteor on the planet which just uh, does the trick you know so let's see but i could do that one more time no no we can do that only once <laughs> all right fun all righty so uh I wonder if there's going to be a clearly visible temperature change there. But here uh, I see a steady progression. Ooh, yeah, that's all. Uh... So let's see. Greenhouse gases trapped in CO2 and regolith. Okay. No. So the uh, CO2 is creating more and more uh, pressure. 
because it's uh, more and more. And uh, we're releasing more and more um, CO2 in the regolith zone of this planet. I have no clue what the regolith zone is scientifically, but uh, I'm pretty sure I won't be finding out either. So, can I cancel the greenhouse gas import thingy here? Yes, I can. Because honestly, I don't feel like it's uh, such a important project here after all. Um, just, uh, I'll rather let those greenhouse gas uh, factories run. Because uh, somehow I feel like... Uh... I, I wonder if I haven't uh, set things in motion already. Because uh, the temperature... Is high enough to be uh, rele to release the CO2? I don't know. We're gonna see. What I do notice though is that we're making progress even though um, none of my greenhouse gas facilities is busy right now. So we did achieve something. Why is nobody finishing this uh, solar farm? Because it's that far away or what's the matter? There we go. Okay. So I'm gonna prioritize this maintenance facility right now because I got the strange feeling like we would be needing it, like for real. And also I want to have a, uh, let's see, power grid wise, yeah, it's all good. I want to have a new worker hub in the vicinity of this iron mine, just to be sure. And of course, the uh, roads... Oh my god. There's a lot of roads that need, which need upgrades there, okay. Well, well. Yeah, but what I do notice is that this uh, count here is uh, rising steadily without any uh, further um, work from my side. So my maintenance drones are, well, I feel like there's a, a, a certain shortage in these. So I'll need electronics and polymers. So. The uh, that that's not a, not the issue here, obviously. For now, I want to prioritize these bad boys here too for a sec, to make sure we're gonna be uh, um, putting up a few maintenance units asap. Just want to make sure that things are uh, working out. There we go. That's all I needed. New colonists arrival. Yay. That's good. Okay. Seems like I have to uh, amp up the priorities in these uh, really far away areas of my base. I can understand it though. Why things are progressing that slowly here. But uh, oh well, that might turn into a problem at some point. Especially since this water extractor is really, really important for uh, my future. Okay. So at least I'm going to see the next... Uh, oh, we had a imp meteor impact here. I really feel like these meteor impacts need some sort of modification because my base is already pretty big and uh, I don't even get a uh, a warning everywhere or a, uh, a message everywhere. If somebody knows what I'm doing wrong here please feel free to tell me because maybe there's a simple solution to my problem which I'm not aware of. I always uh, anticipate such things too but uh, in this particular scenario I don't. 
Look at them go. All the roads upgraded. I feel like road upgrades have a very, very high prioritization. Like, uh, even if I prioritize buildings, my drones stop delivering buildings and they keep delivering the road blueprints immediately. But that's fine. Those upgraded roads are really, really useful after all. Because, um... I feel like, uh... Faster travel times for the workers mean so much in the way that uh, with a fast enough travel time your um, your workers are basically worth more. The faster they drive, the more they can do. And uh, if one worker suddenly uh, drives the, well, three times as fast, he's also gonna work uh, three times as much. That's the logic behind that. Okay then. Oh, we're on a good way here. Come on, let's feed them. Prioritize. Okay. Research is uh, still a tad bit low, but I don't know why. All right, let's upgrade the other uh, um, colony building here. Bring up some more room for these guys. Some more space to live at. Also, um, prioritizing um, colonies is a good thing because this way they'll just receive the major amount of uh, necessary resources to be happy with. Alrighty, so the space mirror array is almost done. And so is the next terraforming uh, step. Yay! Okay, so what are we going to do next? Um, I think I'm going to re research the next biotech uh, tier because uh, there's a lot of uh, things up ahead that I want to do with that too. Because I feel like greenhouses are, greenhouse gases are only uh, one thing. We're slowly creating an atmosphere. Like, uh, you see those clouds? I think I am creating them. Neat. Like, before I was here, this planet had uh, almost no atmosphere, and uh, that's the first sign of atmosphere, I hope. But that'll also mean that it's uh, that someday this uh, chemical plant here will be flooded because it starts to rain. Luckily, um, that's gonna be an issue for another day. So, uh, yeah, those polar caps are gone. Now that I... This was white. <laughs> Love it. I, I gotta say, there are a lot of things in this game which really, really make me happy. And uh, being able to watch how these glaciers melt and fade away, because that's like exactly what's happening here. It's just uh, majestic, honestly. I, I feel like that's absolutely majestic to see that, yeah. We're just uh, destroying the, the uh, ice on the polar caps here, that's what's happening. Nice. I'm not gonna install that uh, space mirror array for now because I want to wait until the next step is done. Because I have no clue what I'll what I ha what I'll have to do for the next uh, step. I just know that uh, right now we seem to be in a very very stable um, phase of the game. So there's one aluminum mine being not needed at all. That's okay. That uh, only means that. We don't need that stuff here, but uh, maybe I'm going to prioritize it, though. I don't like uh, it when facilities are, are just standing still. But maybe this just depicts that I don't need these amounts of uh, aluminum right now. Which is fine. I'm going to need. I'm gonna use that once uh, other things are more important. So, um... I'm assuming that this might be the regolith. Uh, creating atmosphere. Space mirror array. So, uh, this will raise the temperature at the poles and it'll need 15 launches. Ah, I see. This is just an endless thing. And this will need 15 launches. I see. Yeah, whatever. Let's do this. This is going to take uh, quite some time to do that. So, uh, 
Let's rather start now. Um, the best thing about that is uh, it's going to eat up tons and tons of glass and aluminum, and those are just the materials that uh, we're um, stockpiling here like crazy. So we're going to do that. Also, I just want to check out what's with my silicon mine here. Um, I set up another one here already, or did I? Well, if there's ever going to be a shortage of silicon, that's uh, not going to be any trouble. Yeah, I already set up new silicon mines. I did that. Okay then, so uh, let's just expand the power range. Because I really want to... Uh, acquire another uh, water um, source. Here down down there is another uh, chemical source. Well, we're gonna expand into those directions step by step. No problem. Biotech. Oxygen release plant. So that's uh, the uh, that's the next uh, thing here. Bioengineered lichen converts CO2 into O2. Ah, I see. So Biodome converts that. Wow. Amazing. Those technologies are just making me so happy. So we're gonna research space tech now next. So let's see. They did zero launches yet. It's just fine. All right, let's speed up things. I want to get that done uh, in today's episode, you know. I hope that'll happen. So I don't think that uh, this whole thing will be molten away once I hit the 300 M bar. And besides that, this planet now has reached a temperature which is uh, actually not that horrible anymore. I mean, minus. 14 degree is still pretty brutal uh, for a human being, but uh, believe me, it could be worse. It was worse. Alright, so... Um, finally, this whole uh, terraforming thing is uh, being set into motion. And uh, yeah, with the fission plants, it's uh, absolutely great to... Uh, to work here. Um, oh no, so this uh, water extractor here is no longer um, in the range of being um, maintained. Okay, so uh, but that's gonna be okay. I'll just set up another maintenance um, facility down here. Let's just check the power grid. Here we go. Because, um, well, it's totally okay. Another maintenance facility will just uh, make it easier for me to acquire um, that uh, chemical deposit here. It might be a small one, but as far as I see things, I need every little small deposit sooner or later. So I start having my doubts if we're uh, able to do this uh, goal today. So, uh, the pressure is actually decreasing. Now I'm angry. So that means uh, with just the greenhouse gas facilities, we're not going to be able to do this uh, all, uh, all on its own. Alright, so the, the uh, pressure is actually decreasing again. So, um, how so? Yeah, there's uh, CO2 going back into the regolith, okay. That's unexpected. Okay, so uh, we won't be making it this episode, obviously. Let's uh... Well, I guess the space mirror array will do the trick, but um, yeah, that's just uh, gonna take a ton of launches. So uh, we're gonna do what? Greenhouse gases... Uh, are well 
or was I wrong about this? Um... So, arrow break ice asteroid. Introduce external water. No, comet collision. Collide a comet into to release CO2. Yeah, that's what we're gonna need. So, I just wonder if I uh, if I should import greenhouse gases again, but I don't think so. So, ah, so I'll need to do that fifteen times. I see. And uh, I can't actually check out how many. Uh, yeah, that's uh, the first of these. Uh, okay, nice. Long-term projects, eh? So let's do this. I can also uh, put a, both uh, spaceports to that endeavor. All right, friends, that's going to be it for uh, today. We're going to be reaching the next terraforming stage sooner or later. I, I think uh, I'll just need more greenhouse gas facilities, too. Let's uh, try that out if that does the trick. So I'm just going to double them. Um, and uh, we're, we're going to check that out next episode. I mean, I can't, I can't scrap those if I don't need them anymore. But I don't think. No. That's not wise. So, thank you so much for watching, friends. Uh, it's been my pleasure. I think uh, I just have to be patient and uh, build those uh, big arrays. And uh, maybe I'm going to start import greenhouse gases again. It's uh, probably going to be more productive. Because I don't want to waste all my chemicals into this uh, greenhouse gas uh, project. Because um, I feel like... Oh, now it's rising again. Interesting. Anyways, friends. Leave a comment down below, leave a like, leave a subscribe. I'd be super happy if you could support this series. But the most important thing, I hope you had fun and you're going to come back for more. See you then. Bye-bye.